This tawny owl pair must fight off the competition for the best nest. <laughs> Once the eggs are laid, they've got to protect them. And after two years of failed clutches, will they hatch? These tawny owls are known as Bomber and Luna. It's the beginning of January and they're already thinking about the best place to raise chicks this year. The pair scout out the beach stump nest. Female owl Luna is first to head in. And a mate bomber lands on the branch outside. This nest has been their choice for the past few years and they've had two clutches here. Tawny owls are early nesters, so they're keen to stake their claim now. Luna explores inside, but she's not best pleased by what she finds. These pellets and pale feathers are telltale signs a barn owl's been roosting in here. Last year, after the tawny owls had finished nesting, Female barn owl Gilfi moved in. And even now, in January, she and her mate Dryer are still visiting. Tawny Owl's now interested. An altercation is inevitable. As Gilfie rests in the evening, Luna lands at the entrance. Gilfie lunges. And after a scuffle, Luna withdraws, hooting at the barn owl. Before taking flight. Gilfie only just held her ground tonight. So when the coast is clear, she takes off too. And doesn't return. The barn owls are ousted and the tawny owls secure the nest. The pair arrive together. And Bomber is first inside. He calls happily as he explores. Luna enters too, and it's fascinating to watch them interact. Bomber leaves, Luna digs her first scrape of the year, checking if the nest floor is a suitable place to lay her eggs. By mid-February, they seem settled in their choice. Luna is getting broody, scraping regularly. Making home improvements.
and spending her days roosting inside. All signs that she'll lay soon. By night, Bomber brings her food. Delivering on the branch outside. He's making sure she's in prime condition. By early March, it seems she's ready. She refines a nest scrape and settles in. Positioning her body close to the floor, she breathes heavily as she lays. she soon reveals her first egg. Torn owls incubate their eggs as soon as they're laid, so they only catch glimpses during the day. But as night falls, she heads out to stretch her wings. Just a few minutes later, neighboring barn owl Gilfi takes a look. Whilst the partner dryer keeps watch, Gilfi gently taps the egg with her beak, but doesn't harm it. She'll be thinking of laying soon herself. This is fascinating behavior. It's like they're on a secret mission. Both barn owls leave. And Luna soon returns, not knowing she's had visitors. Having settled back in, she calls out to her mate. And Bomber soon arrives, delivering a vol. But he leaves before seeing the egg. Luna once again heads out. A couple of hours later, she lands outside. But she's heard something and hesitates. An unknown male tawny owl appears. He must be a single male, because he's trying to mate with her. Bomber's nearby, and he flies to her aid. With the interloper gone, Luna returns to her egg. But the drama's not over yet. Gilfie's back and she heads straight in. It's a ferocious fight, but Gilfie retreats. Thankfully, the egg seems unharmed. It's been an eventful couple of days. Now Luna is incubating, she's spending most of her time in the nest. A 
and Bomber has to step up to provide for his mate. But for Bomber, this is no problem. This experienced male is at least 10 years old and has weathered countless breeding seasons. He's caught a vole for Luna. And if that isn't enough, he grabs another he's cached in the tunnel. But when she doesn't take it, he decides to have this one as a snack. Tawny Owls lay about two and a half days apart, and as dawn breaks, Luna's contracting again. Sixty-five hours after the first, she reveals her second egg. But soon, the tawny owls have another obstacle to face. The weather's taken a turn and the temperature's started to drop and it's actually started snowing. So Luna's got to be extra careful with these eggs now. But despite the freezing conditions overnight, Luna lays her third egg. snow starts to blow inside. By morning, she's covered. eggs and nestled beneath her feathers. Despite this weather, Bomber is really stepping up and he's taking plenty of food into Luna. Firming their bonds. The pair's clutch continues to grow. Three days later, a fourth and final egg is revealed. Now Luna's finished laying, the tawny owls have the long task of incubation. For the next month, Bomber will provide for Luna, bringing in prey like this tree sparrow. While she keeps the eggs warm and protects them from danger.
like Jeff, a young male kestrel interested in her nest. He hops to the entrance. And goes inside. But the toenail is much bigger and he makes a swift exit. Jeff is only 10 months old and this is probably his first fight. You'd think he'd learned his lesson, but later that day, Jeff's back. As Luna checks her eggs, he enters the nest. He goes for it, but she quickly turns on him, grabbing at him with her talons. It's hard to see behind Luna's wings, but it doesn't look good for Jeff. He finally breaks free and makes his escape. Luna calls out. That was quite a fight. Thankfully, it seems all her eggs are unharmed. And Jeff is seen the next day, still in one piece. Hopefully he'll think twice before taking on a tawny owl again. But it's not just kestrels she needs to worry about. A week later, she hears an ominous call. Jack Dawes. One hops inside the tunnel. And a second lands in as backup. The jackdaw pokes its head inside, goading Luna. Then enters the nest. Luna fans her wings, putting herself between the intruder and her delicate eggs. And finally, the jackdaws retreat. When she's sure the threat is over, Luna returns to her clutch. And as she repositions a little later, I'm pleased to see all the eggs look to be intact. It's nearly the end of March now, and with no more intruders, Luna settles in to the final two weeks of incubation. Tawny Owls pair for life, and Bomber and Luna have been together for the past three years. They've got clearly defined roles. Luna carefully broods the eggs, day and night. And Bomber is working hard to make sure his mate is well provisioned. They make such a good pair. By the 6th of April, Luna has been brooding for over a month. Unfortunately, for the past two years, her eggs have failed to hatch. But this time, she's looking restless, staring down at her eggs tucked beneath her. And 
then there's a great sign. The chick seems to be calling from inside the egg. And Luna calls back. This means the chick is breathing. The hatching process has begun with the help of the chick's egg tooth, a temporary sharp projection on its beak that's used to pierce the air sac inside the shell. There's only a small reserve of air inside, so now it uses the egg tooth again to crack the shell. Under Luna's feathers, it starts pipping, making small holes in the egg. It rotates as it does so, making a crack to emerge from, a bit like a can opener. But it's not until nightfall I catch a glimpse. By now, the egg's cracked all the way across, letting air inside. And the chick begins to make its way into the world. Tawny owls are usually so secretive, I've never seen this process in detail. This tiny bird has already used so much energy. So now, it takes it slow. It wiggles its wing before finally popping it out from its shell. Tawny owl hatchlings are covered in a layer of fluffy down, though at this stage it's still wet from the egg. Next, it leverages its back onto the floor. Uses its legs to push against the bottom of the shell. And rolls its shoulders against the top. Until it can pull the first leg out of the shell. wiggles around, kicking both legs against the eggshell. Breaking the top from the bottom until it's finally sprawled out on the nest floor, exhausted. Throughout the process, the tiny tawny has been calling out. And it's not long before Luna returns, rushing in to care for a new chick. After two years of failed clutches, it's so heartwarming to watch as she tucks the hatchling under her feathers. And with three eggs still due to hatch, there's an exciting week ahead. Next time, watch this owlet's first moments. And will the other eggs hatch? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.